Hello and welcome back to Cud Buds. I'm glowing. Oh, you increased your intelligence also. I did increase my intelligence, yes. So we bought some skills. We That's still have true. Some, we still have some skill points. Did we want to buy something we else? We do. I... I don't know. I don't, no, there's nothing I want to commit to quite yet. You don't want to commit to shields? I guess so. What's the do I go with Swift? slam a jam or do I, I you know? Hold on, whenever you're blocking a... Yeah, staggering block is probably what you want. Because that pairs it so It does well. meld with my other stuff. Yeah. Deft blocking is yeah, also right. very good. Well, staggering block feels like the first one, and then next time I get 200 points, probably deft blocking. Yeah. Although. Although. Could tumble. I could, I could tumble, or I could spry and jump. Spry is worthless to you. Just, I'm just gonna. You, that. you say that, but I still think DV. I could make it work. What's your DV at now? Is the important part. Can I tell this here? No, you have to go. No. You have, so your DV is at five. negative five. So, so plus two DV is going to make it a negative three, which doesn't make it any better. That's because this shield, mostly. I suppose that's true. So I am talking you out of DV and into shields. Into shields. You want me to be a shield boy instead of a, a dodging boy. Mostly, I mean, like, look at all your armor. Like, the gauntlets, two, negative 2 DV. Your basic armor is probably negative 3 DV. Um, your electric snail shell is probably negative 1 DV. Uh, all armor is negative to DV, and, like, you, you have to sacrifice DV in some regard. But what if, what if I start shedding this cumbersome armor? Yeah, like, uh, like, uh... Rock Lee from Narutar. Yeah. That's right. What if I what if I go true ninja as Batman's meant to be? Well, then uh you'd show me for sure. Ooh, I've got clank. You do have clank. It offers you one D one AV, I didn't realize that. If, that's nice. That's um, why don't we put our sniper rifle back in our hand? I guess. Does it matter which one? No. Alright. So, we're gonna go puff on a bunch of things. Mm-hmm. Now, I will say, you gotta be a little bit careful, because remember, what did Pax Clank say to you? Um, regarding the pricklers? Prickles? I don't remember that at all well um the prickles are are the barathrites barathermites and uh pax clank owed them a debt why did he owe them a debt because he he farted on them and they didn't like it That's so right. avoid the bears well no the important thing is people don't like being puffed on so mm -hmm. while we're doing this we got to make sure that we don't accidentally puff on someone we want to stay friends with yeah. Anyway, let's go to 60 still. We're just going to hightail it. Mosey on over. Ooh. Ooh, a lair. Oh, goody. Giant dragonfly. I'm pretty chill with dragonflies in general, aren't I? Yeah, we could share a dram with a dragonfly. Let's go find him. Let's find him. Is he going to have buddies that are going to try to kill me? Yeah, absolutely. But you're pretty chill with Wouldn't all he... insects. So... You say, aren't all insects? Why is that guy he's sleeping? No, he's wet. Oh. He's swimming. I love this series. Uh, like how distracted the series has been. Every single time we, got, we try and go somewhere, it's like, oh, something. Anything but the thing we were doing. Whoop. Salty, bloody, feral dog begins bleeding. Oh. 
Um, All right, I don't. There, I, we found the stairs already. I don't need to be down here. True. Wet feral dog begins bleeding. Still, <clears throat> I think they walked on an ivory. All right. Let's see what we got. Bones. Lots of bones. Some vines. Seed spitters. It'd be good if we could get the modification spiked. Learn how to mod things with spiked, and then we could mod our crystal gauntlets with spiked. And then whenever you punch something, you have a chance of causing them to bleed. You can just do, do an auto explorer, honestly. Nothing to trade. You can't really trade with a dragonfly. <clears throat> I don't Come think. In there. Um, well, they're dead now. I think the dragonfly sat on a campfire a little bit too long and died. Mm, idiot. What a dang fool. I'm pretty sure it's going to be in that pile. I don't know why things aren't appearing pink for you. It could be because it's dark and we turned off certain effects. Namely, um, full screen effects. Uh, might be one layer. Do a, yeah. Okay, you're good. No legendary on show this up? No, I didn't. So one one but layer he would. deeper. You would if 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 we passed him. That's right. Also, in case you didn't know, backspace uh, gives you the point of interest prompt, so you can just walk to points of interest. I did know that. Uh, I'm telling the people at home. There's nobody at home. Oh shoot. We watch this. They watch at work, and on the bus. Have we reached podcast level? Hmm. You should be okay to swap places with that dragonfly. Yeah. There's a jilted lover. Two jilted lovers. Ah, ah, yep. ah. Some drag, uh, glowfish. They don't like you. You're on bad terms with fish. Mm-hmm. I've Fine. gathered that. Some yonder brush. What's that stuff? That's the stuff that teleports you. The wet go plaid? No. No. The underbrush. That's what I was asking about. Oh, you haven't seen a wet glow pad before? I don't know. They're like lily pads. But, you know, they can hurt you. They're actually quite tanky. Glow pads, uh... Glow pads can kill a croc. I've seen that a stop, number of stop, times. Stop, stop. This is a solid mash the period button on the numpad situation. A ah, very deep layer for a dragonfly. You'd think they'd want... To... Ooh, flaming tar pits are great. We 100% want to go there. Well, it's kind of like the rust bog. They generally have some very good tech kind of hanging around. Why is that dragonfly got so many bones? It's a layer. Can't have a layer without bones. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Even even Batman had bones in his lair. I you know, I was when I started saying that it was a joke, but I just realized he did genuinely have dinosaur bones in his lair for some reason. It wasn't bones, it was a big big dinosaur. Was it they're just uh, still bones? It, no. No. I don't think it wasn't a real dinosaur. It was like a fake one. I thought he had like a, a full skeleton of a T-Rex or something. No, he just had a big fake T-Rex. Why did why did he have a T-Rex in his lair? I I honestly don't remember. Why did he have a big coin? Well, that makes sense. Yep. Tell, tell me that doesn't make sense. I mean that's just obvious. Being willfully ignorant if you don't if thought you don't was, understand the giant it was coin. That's funny. That's pretty funny. But like what who did he fight that was giant dinosaur themed? I don't know, dinosaur man. Did he fight dinosaur man? Was that the guy was that the same guy that told Spider Man he didn't want to cure cancer? He wanted to 
turn people into dinosaurs? Yes, despite being different universes. All right, Marvel. Uh, fake fan. Can't be a fake fan if you never claimed to be a fan. Okay, they must be on this floor. And they are. What is that? How do you, how do you say that? Nap, napo, a pack to to la snoopina. You go. All right. Well, we gotta we gotta check them out first. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Kill that man. Yeah. Be Ooh, that might get us the the yeah. Be La. Yeah. Now you know. Now you're getting it. This feels bad. I know, but sometimes you just gotta. So uh, I guess, you know, it's always worth stating these things out loud because some people are not actually watching. They're just listening. Um, our legendary dragonfly is hated by the Hindran of Bela. And if uh, we kill them, we might actually be able to get steel wielding for free. Did I kill him? No, you didn't. You've lost sight of them. And now you've puffed on them. <laughs> it's probably the one to your northeast. You did it. Not on great terms with uh, grazing hedonists. You know what? I don't. I think we're on bad enough terms with the insects that you could just say screw it to your symbiote firefly. Wait, did we gain? We gained ooze rep. Ooze rep is quite nice. I don't. It doesn't. I don't know. I don't know. So much fungal spores everywhere right now. All right, let's just leave. Maybe it's time to put a put a the point defense drone on. Fine. It is. I think it is. All right. I'm excited for this. Yep. Moat of light. My light moat. It's gone. My light moat. My cabbages. Yeah, we are now hated by insects. It's fine. Me and insects are never really on good terms anyway. I was. Yeah, I know. Why Why are we sniping roots? Because they're everywhere. Remember, pure key on the numpad attacks closest. As long as you're not in a situation where you're being attacked by anything that can do you harm, you can go ahead and mash that key. That's a salt hopper. They haven't been a, a problem for a very long time. And they still aren't. Well, this was a very productive layer. To be honest. Want to go to Bela? Yeah. They're pretty close. It's that yellow one. That one? That's the one. Boop. And we want to talk to Esk. Hindriarch Esk. Been a, been a hot minute since we've been here pretty excited you're gonna learn uh you're gonna learn any point in doing a water ritual again you have yes. to that's how i get those yeah. options you get more reputation since you've gotten uh, customs and folklore since last you shared the dram all right all right teach me your ways dual wielding nice You've learned flurry. So, um, flurry is uh, an activated ability that basically makes you attack with all of your options. Um, I guess we're not using more than one weapon. Or... <laughs> so kind of no, pointless. but now I could I could get rid of shield, and it would it would make sense. It would make sense right after we took a uh, staggering block. I'm all about the options. Is there anyone here I can spore on? No. 
Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> nah, we're good. I'm hungry. You are hungry. Could have some mala soup. Want some mala soup? I could learn mala soup. What does it do? Check, check it out. Wow. Oh. Very Batman. Amazing. Very Batman. I'm gonna drink this water. And I will become immune to fear. I am fear. That's why he drinks uh, 10 to 25 liters of water every day. So he could become immune to fear when he's whenever he's f fighting the Scarecrow. That makes sense, right? Mm, that's why he had a giant true. dinosaur in his lair. Yeah, because after he defeated Hart, he was given a mechanical dinosaur as a as a souvenir. Did you do you have the wiki open right now? No. Oh. <laughs> Reload your gun. Never. <laughs> All right, let's leave this place. Six days still. Let's go. Fart on the stilt. Fart on stilt. Ooh. Oh. Shakish. Shakish. All right. Bugs. Bugs are bad now. Not sure what bugs you should really be concerned of. I think it's probably just going to be cherubs. Like insect cherubs specifically i think this ruin is going to be a waste of time because it's in the hills and uh this business is not you working never out. know you never know i guess Whoa. yeah you know what that you lasered was? me no 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 you know what just happened oh that i lasered him yeah I droned him he shot an arrow at you and your point defense drone shot it out of the air uh, that's gonna have that's gonna have better animation someday. I, I'm very certain. I love how trigger happy our point defense drone is. Like wooden arrow, it's not gonna pen you. And even if it did, the most that it would dam do is probably like ten damage at the very most. Like if it penned twice, and your drone is like, get, get down, Mr. President. Pew, 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 pew. It's like that one Monty Python sketch where they're like shooting grenades, mm. those rockets and grenades at moths. Oh, yeah. It's probably a good idea. Heck yeah. Now you're generally guaranteed to get all of the bits from uh, disassembling things. I think that's it, though. I think so too. Couple of okay bits. Bits and bobs. Don't Let's forget the bobs. Leave. Let's leave. Oh, now that's a good find. That is an excellent find. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yum. <laughs> yeah, yo, yum. Oh. I'm gonna name my kid that. Uh. N no. I don't even think the daggers worth. I mean, sure. Sure. They're not worth it. They're not worth it. They're not really worth it anymore. We've uh, we've we've shot past the need to pick up every bronze dagger. Yeah, you want to try it? Well, Flurry's not gonna do anything, to be honest. Slam them. Yes, I love slam. Slam is one of my is slam is my jam. I love slam so much. There's nothing more satisfying than Whoa. walking by a witchwood wreath 50 times. There's nothing more satisfying than uh, like punching a tortoise through several layers of shale rock. We are so over equipped for this area. It's ridiculous. Well. I'm not sure what a legendary shoemaker is going to have. 
I'm I'm just wondering if if they had like flawless crystal boots, that'd be kind of nice. But I don't think that that's going to be the case. Shoemakers kind of suck. They generally speaking don't have any anything interesting. So he's going to have like masterwork leather moccasins with his signia on it. What's in that box? What? Nothing. Nothing, probably. Yeah. Oh, I already found the stairs. You, right. you totally did, yeah. It's fine, I wasn't gonna... Why didn't you say anything? I wasn't gonna distract you from your, uh, exploring. Well, okay, the one thing that the legendary shoemaker will have is reputation. Mm. So, we could likely get some more reputation with water barons. Oh my god, what is going on? He fought a trash monk. Right. Uh, make sure you don't take any damage because then you'll puff and you'll make everyone mad. Uh, shoot that spider. He's mad at you. Yeah. Um, should I just let them... Yeah, I just let him hash it out. Nothing in there. Anything in there? Anything in their woven basket? No. Could do like an auto explore at this point. I think they're probably done. See, I see them. I see them. Oh, well, that's a nice find. Those are always worth picking up. Slam. Welcome to the jam. There it is. So you've already seen the legendary shoemaker. There they is. Uh, wow. Hated by the cult of the Derelishid twice, huh? We, we're cool with that. Better to get, uh, merchant guild reputation. Yeah. Do you want to name your two-faced electric snail shell? You were. The Ukat. What colors won't make you mad? Um, you, you go do whatever you want. It's, it's not even upset. You get so mad every time you see that armor. I don't get mad. <laughs> That's a bit of an over exaggeration. Well, you named it. You made it uh, snail colored. That's pretty good. You give me your chain boots. Give me your boots. Times two. Yeah. Yo, need a friend. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the amoeba farmer. Did we ever actually meet the amoeba farmer, or did we just, like, mess around with everything else there? I don't... I think we met him. I probably don't want his boots. Probably not, no. If they're, if they, they're that cheap to take, then they won't be worth it. All right. Well, engraved scaled sandals. We never did pick up our crocusins. <laughs> did that on purpose. Mm. They're really shit. That's why they're mad at him is because he stole those boots. He well, stole no, he wouldn't make them boots. He stole them and then he put his mark on it. Yeah, uh, as I predicted, the the uh, goods here are wanting, to say the least. Mm. What's this weird artifact? I don't know. It won't tell you. He's not a tinker. I could get a yeah yeah yummy artifact. I mean, they're gonna be shoes. Hmm. You know they're shoes gonna be I've shoes. Never, shoes I've never seen before. Hmm. If they're super cool boots, I highly doubt it. At twenty-four drams, they're not. Let even... me sell this. Let me sell this cathedra and buy this art. Yo, that's quite spicy. All right, fine. We can, we can just leave. <laughs> I like how we're we're almost at the end of the episode here. 
And we haven't even made it to six days still. That's really good. That's the that's the dice you roll on cud buds. Oh, I was really hoping there, there was gonna be a ruin. Mm, down. Yeah. Alright, we're looking for a hammock. You know, I, one place I will have a hammock almost guaranteed, I'm pretty sure, is a uh, Kyakukya. So we can we can consider Kyakukya for our last puff. Were we just looking for a hammock here? No, we're puffing on sixty still. You can just puff anywhere that where there aren't people. There you go. It's a really weird thing, but when you think about it, Clank is kind of like having you, like, have him reproduce in certain mm -hmm. places. I'm spreading his spores. All right, where are we going? We're going to Asphalt Mines. We're going to Asphalt Mines at the very least before we decide if we want to go to Kekuka. Here? Yep. Oh. Oh my god. Ah, the second, the second Alamu. Alamu. Just a quick little jaunt around the Alamu. Just a quick little labyrinth to get hopelessly lost in. You I miss my bug. Any, you don't see them anymore because they're dead. Yeah, Symbiote Firefly is one of my favorite items. It's really nice not being on bad end with uh, with bugs. But it's also even nicer to not die when a rocket turret just happens to be around the corner. Because your point defense drone shot the rocket out of the air. That's also like... Mm, you know, Chef's Kiss good. I, on uh, on my Monday stream, got two stabilizer locks in, uh, in Gritgate. Gritgate spawned, mm -hmm. spawned with two stabilizer locks, which are cybernetics that can go in your arm and increase your accuracy by six. So oh. I had two of them, and I put them both in both my arms, and I was, like, shoot, landing every single shot from then on. With pistols, no less. Pretty cool. It was really Hungry. some really rad stuff. Do do do. I guess we're still trying to get our ideal Hulk honey skulk and bone meal dinner. So we could occasionally try cooking with that metal folding chair. Yeah, this place is very uh, complex. I wonder what a chameleon. I guess a chameleon counts as an unshelled reptile. Oh, we should have dropped off our books. books. Got would have gotten some experience. Bup, 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 bup. Huh. That's it for that. No, nope, there's still more. Now that's done. Hey. Alrighty. Is anywhere? Uh, yep. Or do I want to go down 20? Well, that's a question for later, really. Okay. Like, do you want to try and do that? We have the tools to make it happen this time. Well, let's do it then, because that's two, two spores with one stone, right? Yeah. Well, you can still puff here. And you can puff here, and then we can puff 20 down. Um, but if we do are doing this, we should end the episode. Because it's the All end. Right. If you are enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Just in time.